Hey guys, Matt here. Uh, I get a lot of questions from people that want to know if an email is uh, legit or if it's fake. Uh, fake emails contain links that often lead you to very destructive malware or viruses. So I'll give you an example, I'll give you two examples. One's fake and one's real. So if we look at this one right here, it says RFQ, request for quote details. Details on our request for quote can be downloaded from dl.dropbox.com. You're going to see a lot of Dropbox emails in the future, uh, Google Drive emails in the future. But how do you tell if this link right here actually goes to dl.dropbox.com? It's really simple. Just move your cursor, your mouse pointer over that link, and a pop-up will come up. And you can see that dropbox.com and dropbox.com, you know, they match. So right here, it says, this says Dropbox.com, and the actual link, the actual website that we're going to go to is Dropbox.com. Now, let's look at another email that was sent to us. Same, same email, basically. You may see stuff like this. This email has been scanned for viruses. This email is clean. Trust us. No biggie. But if you mouse over the dl.dropbox.com, it goes to vil.etc.dk, you know, some crazy subdirectory and file.scr. So once you click that, it's over. That file downloads to your computer. If your antivirus finds it, great. If not, you're in trouble. A lot of the new viruses out there, really, really, really bad. They, they encrypt all the data on your computer, and you have to rebuild the computer. All your files are gone unless you have them backed up. So I hope you guys watch this. Uh, you might want to pass it out to other people that, uh, you know, deal with the same kind of stuff. So talk to you later.